Welcome back everyone to the second video of the Downing Through playlist and I'm really excited about today's session. We're going to be discussing three trades I took on MS Morgan Stanley and what uh, excites me particularly about this video is that I use a different entry method for each trade providing a great learning opportunity for all of us. I've also received a request to show my executions so stay tuned till the end of the video which I'll reveal all of them to you. And now before we jump into the trades let's go over the down and through setup one more time. First thing we need is a minimum of a three to five bar drop. There could be more but rarely should there be any less. Next item we need to see is some form of support. In this example we have a small base. As demonstrated here in the yellow line, the top of this base could serve as potential support. If we zoom in a little closer on our support example, we can see how many times the stock failed to break through the top range of this base. Classic example of old resistance turning into new potential support. Now there's two different ways to enter this play. One being in an anticipatory fashion, in this entry style, your open bar dips slightly under support revealing our protective stop and if and only if it retraces back up above support you have the right to jump into the trade maintaining that narrow protective stop a penny or two under the tail. All right now the second way to play it is the confirmation entry. What does that mean? Well first we need to have a closed bar at or near an area of potential support. This closed bar is our signal bar. It reveals to us our protective stop and our trigger entry. And if and only if the following bar takes out the top of our signal bar, we have the right to jump into the trade. The next point I'm going to emphasize on, I cannot stress enough how important it is. And if this criteria of the setup is not met, you should avoid taking the trade. And that is enough price extension to be able to get an easy two to one back up to the eight simple period moving average. This criteria of the trade is so important. I'm going to say it again. If you do not have enough price extension for an easy two to one from your trigger entry back up to the eight simple period moving average, you should not take the trade. This criteria of the trade is so important because all we're looking for is that one third bounce back up towards the 8 and May. It's that slight pullback before setting a new low and starting a trend. How would something like this look like? Let's use the confirmation entry for an example. For instance, here we have a narrow range bar at support. And if our trigger bar follows through, triggering us into the trade, Let's assume in this case our total risk is 25 cents. So if we do not have an easy 50 cents from our trigger entry back up towards the 8 MA, we should simply avoid the trade. Because like I said, all we're looking for in this type of trade is a simple one third bounce back up towards the MA. So if you can't get an easy double, save yourself the trouble. All right, today let's do something a little differently. Let's start with our analytical time frame first and then we'll circle back to our main trading time frames. Now here we have the 15 minute chart. In this chart we can see MS is approaching a pivot and hold number support. Now how can we tell this area is an area of potential support? Well let's zoom in a little closer and investigate. First I would like to point out MS had this 5 bar run and for some reason price can continue and pull back leaving behind a pivot high. One would not be wrong to assume that this pivot could serve as potential resistance. However, if you look closer, the following day we gapped well above it. So now we have to change our perspective. What was once resistance can now serve as potential support. And as you can see, MS tested the pivot multiple times and couldn't get back under. Now, if you follow the arrow, look where we're approaching. Next, let's take a quick look at the hourly chart. Here we can also see the same pivot and look where price is approaching as well. Last but not least, the daily chart. And currently we are under the 200 simple period moving average, this red line demonstrated by the arrow, but at a previous location which MS had bounced off before. With that, we conclude our higher time frame analysis. Let's move on to our trading time frames and my first trade off the two minute chart. 
Here, MS presented us with one, two, three, four, and now working on our fifth consecutive bar down into a pivot and a whole number support with enough price extension from the ADMA for an easy double if one, NMS gives us a slight poke through under the whole number 95 and pops back above, or option number two, a narrow range bar at this location to play off. Now let's wait and see which of the two options we'll get. At this point, we can still get a poke through. However, if we don't, we now have our narrow range bar to play off as well. There it is. We didn't get the poke through, but we did get the elimination of a narrow range bar at the right location with plenty of extension from the ADMA for an easy double on a simple one third retracement. And like a good habit, my protective stop is placed under the low. And just like that, I'm out. In this case, there was little to do since the trade failed almost immediately after my entry. However, there is still potential for another trade here. The setup hasn't changed. MS is still on a multiple bar drop into a pivot whole number support with enough price extension from the ADMA. The only difference is entry option number two is no longer an option. Now for a re-entry, I demand the stock to give me my poke through and if MS can do that, then well, I'm not going to be a part of it. But wait, here we go, MS is under the whole number, can it now pop back above? And yes, it can. And there you go. Entry number two, the down and through. And hopefully by now, you know where my protector stop will go under the low. And this is what I like most about these trades. Usually the poke through under the whole number is shallow, about 10 to 15 cents. In this example, my total risk is 10 cents. That means all MS has to do is move 10 cents in my direction for me to adjust my stop to break even and have a risk free trade. The risk to reward is fabulous. Now look where we're taking my first profit off around 95 fifties. That is a 50 cent bounce, a five to one, just in that little small bounce. Taking 200 off leaving the last 100 shares slightly above break even in hopes that the rally will continue and meet my ultimate target, the 8MA. Here, I decided to adjust my stop a penny under the dime. And there it is, I'm out on my last slot. Now, at this point in the video, we've seen both entry methods being applied. So what is the difference and how is this third method utilized. Well, that's exactly what we'll be discussing next. But before we do so, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. So you know, every time I drop a new video. Now let's discuss this third option. This one, I like to call it the hybrid approach. In this style of entry, I'm going to look for a one minute closed bar to take an anticipatory entry on the five minute chart. How and why am I choosing to use this approach? Well, there are two main reasons. First, this entry style allows me to properly measure my risk and reward inside a still developing five minute bar. Second, by anticipating I can sometimes reduce my risk 
for the trade. Now that I shared with you my reasons, let's analyze our trading time frames and break down how am I going to do this. So let's go over our checklist. On the five minute chart, MS had one, two, three, four, five, and now working on its six consecutive bar down into a pivot support, as you can see here on the 15 minute chart, with enough price extension for an easy double off a shallow one third bounce back up to the 8MA. Now that the stock matches our setup criteria, my attention is on the one minute chart scoping for a narrow range bar to play off. And there we have it, our one minute narrow range bar. Now all there's left to do is wait to see if MS can trigger me in by taking out the top of this bar. And if it can, I will jump into the trade and immediately place my stop under the low. Now that we know the reason and the how, let's see how this plays out. And there it is, I'm in. Break even established at one to one. From this point on, I have a risk free trade. Don't know if I'm going to make money but I know for sure I'm not gonna lose any. First target at two to one. ultimate target at five to one and I'm done. And now before we get to the last part of the video, my executions, allow me to go over the non anticipatory entry on the five. I want to make sure you take note of this entry here. This is not an option. Why? Well, simple. We don't have an easy two to one back up towards the eight MA. So, the only option we do have is to wait for an opportunity above the ADMA. And there we have it. The risk pause play with a trigger above the ADMA with plenty of open space to make a run to the 20 simple period moving average. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, four different ways to take advantage of an extended move. And now, per your request, here are all my executions. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it valuable, and remember traders, anticipation is not required to be a successful trader. Find your style and master it. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next video.